Hi everyone, this is Keith Ritchie, Senior Outreach Counselor with Kentucky Higher Education Assistance Authority, or KIA. Today I'll be showing you how to use the IRS Data Retrieval Tool on your free application for federal student aid, otherwise known as the FAFSA. If you're unfamiliar with the IRS Data Retrieval Tool, it's essentially a resource that allows you to pull tax return information from the IRS directly onto your FAFSA. And really, it's the quickest, easiest, most accurate way to do so. The good news is, most students and parents who file a U.S. tax return are eligible to use this tool, and we certainly recommend it. If you are eligible to use the tool, the FAFSA will give you that option when initially filing. But for today's purposes, I want to show you what to do if you've already completed your FAFSA without using the IRS Data Retrieval Tool, but now you'd like to log back in, updating your FAFSA using it. So without further ado, let's log back on to studentaid.gov and get started. Once on the website, you'll click on FAFSA form at the top left corner and complete the FAFSA form. You'll then click log in underneath returning user. And then if you're the student, you'll select the top option and hit log in to continue. You'll then be able to enter your FSA ID username and password in order to access your FAFSA. After logging in with your FSA ID, you'll see the current application status page. Now, in our example, we've already completed the FAFSA. We just didn't use the IRS data retrieval tool, so our current application status shows that it's already been processed. But if you scroll down on this page toward the bottom, you'll see a few options to consider. What we'll want to select would be the middle option, Make Corrections to My FAFSA Form. It'll then bring you to an introduction page, but for purposes of our demonstration, we'll just hit continue. You'll then be prompted to create a save key. For this, I encourage people to do something really easy to remember, like a four digit number. Once you've established your save key, you'll then be able to view the different sections of the FAFSA. For purposes of using the IRS data retrieval tool, We'll go down to section five and six, the parent financial section. And then if we filed taxes as a student as well and want to use the IRS retrieval tool to transfer student tax return information, we can go to section six as well. Once navigating the financial sections of the FAFSA, you'll see a blue button that says proceed to the IRS. You'll click on that to access the data retrieval tool. The FAFSA will then give you a heads up that you're leaving the FAFSA website and will be transferred over to the IRS website in order to access your IRS tax information. So with that in mind, we'll hit proceed to the IRS. Now that we're on the IRS website, it'll pop up with this message. All we have to do is hit OK, and it'll pull up our form to complete the IRS retrieval tool. When completing this form, it's super important to take note of the year in which the questions are referring to. In this example, it's asking about 2021 tax return information. So let's just say you've moved since 2021. The address that we need to input into this form would be whatever was on the 2021 income tax return, not your current address. Once you fill out everything, you hit submit. If everything matches what the IRS has on file, you'll be brought to this confirmation page. What you'll want to do is check the box where it says transfer my tax information into the FAFSA form, and then you'll hit the button that says transfer now. You'll then be brought back to the FAFSA application, and you'll know that the IRS data retrieval tool was successful if it says transferred from the IRS in lieu of tax return information. It is important to note that you'll want to continue all the way through the remainder of your application to the Sign and Submit page, resubmit your FAFSA, so that the college can receive your updated information. Once submitted, your college will receive your updated FAFSA complete with the IRS Data Retrieval Tool. This will save you from needing to send in any tax transcripts to the college. If you'd like to learn more about financial aid programs available, I invite you to check out our website, kia.com. And remember, no matter where you live, anywhere in the Commonwealth, you're represented by a Kia Outreach Counselor. So we have a team of people willing and able to help you if you ever have any questions. Thank you for watching the tutorial, and we wish you the best of luck with your post-secondary goals.